Hi, Scottish Mudlarkin here with Nicole and Craig. Nicole and I have been out the game for a couple of weeks, but we're back in it now, and we decided to get ourselves back along to a dump that we haven't been to for maybe up to around a year. It's been ages since we've been here, but as you can probably see around me, there's been plenty of activity here, so we're going to survey the dump and see what we can find. One of the really lovely things about coming to these dumps is that the right time of day and the right time of year, all that bird song, really lovely. Now there's lots and lots of jars and bits and bobs lying around here. Uh, I'm going to turn around in a minute and uh, we'll get to <laughs> some of these newly dug holes. But before we do that, these were always a good a good size, weren't they? Yeah. Is that the kind of size we're after? Do we think we want to gather up any of these again? Well, what do you reckon? Well, I guess we could maybe get two or so. We've got a couple of the wee ones on our Etsy shop, so uh, we don't have any of those. So I think we'll get a couple of those and uh, maybe a couple of other things. Well, let's grab that then. Now, just off to the side of that, and Nicole was just about to throw it, <laughs> throw it into short there. There's something we find quite a lot of, but this is a, this is a big one. What do you reckon that is? That's 16 ounce or? Yeah. Yeah, I can see the 16 there. Yeah, actually. yeah. A huge, giant uh, 16 ounce bovril jar. I don't actually think we've got another one. We do have a couple that I do need to clean. So, sh should well, we take it? Yeah, why not? Let's, let's take that along and then we'll make a decision later on. Now, Nicole was just having a wee poke around here because just spotted this wee jar. So, maybe we can uh, unearth that and have a look and see if it's there. Uh, worth doing anything with. Ah. Yeah, there we go, it's an inkwell. Oh yeah, and it's in really nice condition as well. It's in one of these uh, nice cotton reel inkwells. Um, and I guess they kind of look like a, a cotton reel from maybe the weaving industry. That's probably how they got their name. I guess so. Mm. So, are you going to take the little inkwell as well? Yeah, yeah, I think it's because we've not been out at a dump for such a long time. I have to take it. Okie dokes. So, now that we've uh, skirted around the edges, I think what we want to do is have a wee look uh, through some of these quite fresh looking holes here. You can probably see, I hope you can see, all those dark bits. There's a new hole over there, there's one here, one there, there, there. Right over there is the old place that we've, uh, we've looked in a number of times, but it has also been freshly dug. So, I'd like to have a wee scan around there, <laughs> and before we do, Look, is that we like that? Oh, oh, I think it's the uh, um, a motel wear. We found something like that before in teapot tip, um, and it's a uh, motel wear. So I think that's got a, a hen. Yeah, a hen on it, and it says, what did it see on the other I'm side? I'm not it sure. Cup, it's a, uh, cup up, a cup up that cheers. A cup that cheers. There you go. <laughs> a cup that cheers. Oh, oh. And you can see it was a wee milk jug. There's mm -hmm. a wee bit where the handle's missing. There. Oh, I'm going to leave that mm -hmm. quite badly damaged. Uh, and what I want to do is just take a bit of a closer look uh, in these holes. And you can see something that the coal likes. Alright, okay. Uh, but it does look to me like it's quite badly damaged. Can you see it in there? It's just this, this big lid. Is that a lid or oh, is that a jar? Let me just have a closer look. That right up there. Oh, I think it's a wee jar, and it was right next to some metally bit uh, that I'm just going to show you here. I think it's maybe from a hinge from a uh, from a window. So I don't. Whoops, whoops! I don't think this one is particularly interesting. Um, yeah, and that's uh, ju that's just a wee, uh, wee jar. Okay, yeah, a bit broken though. Yeah. So. Uh, whilst Nicole has a wee scrape around in there, I'll take a wee wand of you. Now you can see a couple of things just right over the other end of the hole there. What are they? One of them looks like it might be a, a wee ink bottle. Is it? Oi! Oh, oh, I've just oh, sunk. Soft, oh, soft ground. <laughs> yeah, it's very soft ground because it's just Ooh. very recently been dug. It oh, looks it's another like one it's... of these wee paint jars, isn't it? Well, actually, I think it, well, I'm not sure if it's got paint jar in it. It has a white substance in it and it has a lid on it. So I'm going to leave that one White here. substances, <laughs> always to be left behind. Now, before Nicole does anything over there, I would suggest that she comes and looks over here. Now, I'm going to ho hover, hover the camera and uh, you can probably see why it is that I'm uh, suggesting Nicole comes over here. Can you see it? Uh, I see a bone. I see a small jar. <gasps> oh, yes! 
Now, before you grab the bit that you're excited about, which is gross, uh, can you have a wee look in that jar? I think it's two ounces in it. It's, it's not going to be a one ounce jar. Are we going to have any luck and find one of these wee one ounce jars? <laughs> it is a two ounce bovril jar indeed. Yeah, we've just got the one ounce to get and there's always a, a green bovril jar as well. So they're even rarer. So this one's two ounce. We're going to leave that one here. But now... Sadly, sadly... No, there we go. There's Nicole's uh, e -he 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 -he. kind of gross item. Yes. Now, is that one bone or is that one uh, Bakelite or plastic or something? It's uh, it's a bone toothbrush and it still has some uh, <laughs> has some brush on it. It's the hairy bits. Yeah. The hairy bits. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And I like yeah. the hairy bits. I know. It's, it's, it's a very uh, a divisive uh, find. A lot of people like them and a lot of people don't like them. I love them. I know. And you're going <laughs> to... You're going to sweep that up, I imagine, so. Yep. <laughs> and I shall continue on then in our survey of the new diggy bits. There's some nice wee bottles here. And I think uh, when we first got here, I just kind of cast my eyes around. Cast my eyes around. That's a weird thing to say, isn't it? Mm. I didn't. I didn't throw my eyes anywhere, folks. My eyes are still <laughs> firmly located in my head. But yeah, see wee bottles like this, a wee utility bottle. That one's still got a wee bit of label on there. Oh. Uh, but I'm not sure if what what that would have said. Mm, now we are trying to really streamline what we uh, what we take, so we're going to leave that, I reckon. Yeah. Um. But as you can see, there's there's lots, oh, right, yeah. lots and lots, uh, just to. Peruse. There's even uh, a ye olde Evian bottle over there. Can you see that? <laughs> That's lovely. So, what we can deduce from that is that back in the past when someone was digging here, they got a wee bit thirsty and they needed a wee drink. Now, do you know what I can see? I can see a little sauce bottle. There's a tiny sauce bottle over there. Maybe that's not a sauce bottle. Oh. But then there's another one of these bottles. Now, that one still has the lid intact. Ah. Can you see that? Yeah, that's probably a, a vinegar bottle. If you just think like, you know, small small hole for the top to, uh, to get vinegar out. I think that's maybe what that one is. I reckon you are 100% yeah. correct. It's really nice though. I really quite like that there still has the top on it. There's a bit of water in it. I'm assuming it's water. Maybe it's vinegar. Maybe it's vinegar. So a really <laughs> well-aged vinegar. The yeah. kind of vinegar that you'd have to go to a really expensive deli <laughs> to try out. <laughs> can't find these things anymore. <laughs> you, just can't, you just can't get it. All right. There's a few so things that are quite interesting. There's that. Oh, oh that's an oh, interesting looking bottle, isn't it? Yeah, that's really nice. Just wondering, it is whole. I mean, it looks like uh, one of these bottles that we like to refer to as genie bottles. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say brandy. It's, it, it screams brandy to me. Oh, yeah, possibly. I mean, there's no writing on it whatsoever. So, uh, sadly, I think this is going to be left behind here. We just don't have the space for these very large bottles. No, we do not. And we do not. Small bottle. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. It's an interesting wee shape. Yeah, I'm going to put my toothbrush down. Yeah. <laughs> now, there's writing on that toothbrush. Is that Colgate? There is writing on it. It says uh, Life Trust. And uh, let me just have a look at it again. Cle Cli Cli Climax brand. Okay, odd. Um, now, I'm not sure if the uh, the contrast is allowing us to see this. There are uh, whining about the contrast again. We've been two weeks at the game. <laughs> get back in there and I'm whining about the contrast. Okay, yeah. let's let's grab that That's up. Cool. Now, there's a couple of things in there. Now, one of the things we used to get excited about until we found about a caseload of them in here uh, was were, were these bottles. It's a milk and magnesia bottle, I think, isn't oh, it? Oh, right. Do you know, we actually only have, I think, three milk and magnesia bottles. Uh, we we kind of stopped taking them. I think this is a milk and magnesia bottle. Now, that's me with my toothbrush again. You there we Nicole's, go. Nicole's having a wee mumble to herself there, folks. <laughs> there you go. Milk of magnesia. That's a really nice uh, nice bottle. Funny, it looks like it's uh, sort of brown in this yeah. area. Uh, that's not so much tea. milk and magnesia. It's chocolate. <laughs> magnesia. <laughs> it's a chocolate magnesia. Mm. Now, I don't know if we're going to take any of that stuff, but have you seen this? Oh, yeah. What is that? It's that quite looks... a nice decorated looking piece of glass. Yeah, there's a You big... know, we're, we're doing this at breakneck speed here today, folks, because uh, there's there's a lot to see and we want to try and get as much in as we can. Yeah, so much to cover. Now, what is this? 
Oh, it's, it's open. It's a wee tumbler, isn't it? Oh, it is a wee tumbler. Sadly, it has a really, really large, uh, uh, large crack there. I would have taken that because I think it's really pretty. Uh, yeah. Yeah. See, imagine that for. I don't know. I probably wouldn't drink lemonade out of it, but you know, it could be great for when you do watercolor and you want to dip your brush in. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, what else is here? Here's a bottle from, I think this is Dunfermline. Yeah, I, I'm going to say that that's not the nicest thing around here. It's all broken up and yeah. it's, a, it's a very standard bottle. Now, when we've got things like this beside us, I hope you can see that. There's a few bottles over here and one of them uh, has quite a lot of label on it. Oh, okay. I'm going to leave you the task. <laughs> of uh, having a wee look at that and, and maybe letting us know what it is. There's another one here that's still got its lid, but it's a screw top metal lid, so I guess that's not uh, a particularly old bottle. No, 1930s-ish usually. But whilst Nicole's doing that, I'm just going to have a wee scan around the sides and we'll come back and see if uh, if there's anything discernible from that label. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Find a wee milk glass jar. Yeah, there's a lovely milk glass jar, and uh, I just want to say we put loads of milk glass jars on our Etsy shop, and one of these is there as well. So, there are so many new it's really difficult to say oh I'm gonna start at that one or that one but this one uh, this item here just caught my eye and actually it says made in England and it looks like it's a giant vulcanite stopper it's about double the size of uh, what vulcanite stoppers usually are like uh, so I'm definitely gonna take this one there's also a little bottle here it's just been left here uh, it looks like that might have been like an inkwell not sure but we are going to move along at speed i'm moving on to this next hole here already we're really just surveying these uh, freshly dug holes and there's always lots of things at the edge what's this this is an interesting bottle this is a very interesting bottle i really like this one we've not found one like this before it's like the um like the little stoneware bottles for ink but it's glass so that's very cool i'm definitely going to take this one it's still got this original cork in it okay so moving on what i'm going to do is i'm going to put my finds here and then i can see see them grow so to speak i find anything else and i've just spotted something and it's a total heartbreak and i'm sure the bottle diggers would have taken this if it hadn't been broken but i'll show you anyway it's really cool it's it would have been a very very nice ginger beer bottle uh gilbert uh, ray dunfermline um special brewed ginger beer oh that is so lovely and i really like the uh the kind of turquoise color on the top there ah oh, what a shame a wee shame let's leave that here there's a wee uh, milk jug Oh, this is very cute, actually. I'm going to put that to the maybes. Okay. Put that back here to the maybes. Okay, here you can see. This is a relatively deep hole. And uh, it looks like it's kind of very soft on the edges. So I think I'm not going in that one. I'm going to just walk around the edge here. And see what I can see. There's something there. It's a broken bottle. Looks like it might be California Fix Syrup. What else? There is a really, really bright blue. Probably milk of magnesia. Oh no. I'm not sure actually. It has a different uh, different neck. Hmm. It has a small lid on the top. That's very nice. Very nice blue. Let's see. There's something on the bottom see if I can read that. I'm going to take it off camera and see if I can read it. It's Optrex. So I'm going to say that was uh, an eye wash probably. Optrex, optrical, optrical nerve, something like that. So that's very cool. We've not found something like this before.
There is another broken, what looks like a ginger beer bottle. I wonder if there's anything written on it. Ah oh, no, it's a half a uh, ginger. What's that? That's strange. It's like a star find, but not, uh, not a star find. <laughs> I wondered if it was going to be a marble, maybe a big shooter marble. Okay, what else is here? A wee brown bottle. Yeah. Lots of tiny things here, little sparkly bits. Broken glass. Okay. Hmm, okay. I think we're going to, whoops, move relatively quickly around here. What's that? A wee brown bottle. So many brown bottles. I would guess they're kind of tend to be used for medicine, but you wonder. Or oh, and uh, things like maybe a little hip flask. Um, ah, interesting pattern on this one. That's very nice. That's not spongeware. It's just some sort of hand painted, uh, hand painted jug. It looks like there's a bunch of grapes there. We're going to move away from that and see what's on this side of the hole. Okay, can you see something? Oh, hmm, there's quite a few little beads in this, uh, this area. Maybe we'll come back and we'll scrape around a little bit because uh, that's when you usually find you know, the, the smaller things. On the edge now that I'm, I'm seeing scrape around, I'm starting to scrape around. Okay, what's there? That is a viral jar, a little pill bottle, also brown, a bone. Okay, probably from a, from a big stew. Okay, what can we see here? What's that there? Oh, that's a that's a bone. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, that's a bone. Maybe from a mouse or something. <laughs> okay. I think we've probably got a pretty good idea what's around here. So I think I'm going to go see what Craig's been up to. The resource bottles and stuff over here. Bits of broken jars, lots of bits and bobs. That looks like a little wee mango chutney bottle, but a, a really small one. Normally find quite large bottles of that sort, but it's quite cool. It's a nice shape, but you know, people just don't have any interest in these things. I don't quite know why. They're quite cool. Maybe green glass jar here. Now we know that as uh, probably Musterol or something like that. If you remember Musterol was a little bit like Vicks Vaporub. Uh, <laughs> but it was mustardy I think. Uh, <laughs> we might have to refer back to a previous video uh, to say anything more about that. Now, there, there's a couple of interesting bottles here. And another inkwell another one of these oh do you know what there's another wee treat for you here i think can you see that it's just right there a wee treat for nicole now nicole might might make her way along here in a minute to see what that is been tempted but this is what i saw bottled by jay's so we know what this is this is jay's fluid this was um this was the kind of thing that saved lives, you know, back in the day. Jay's yeah. fluid, it was a disinfectant fluid. And I think, wasn't that the one that was used to cold clean um, baby feed bottles and stuff as well? And it kind of oh, saved lots of lives. Um, well, that was Milton, I right. think. Uh, but yeah, that's definitely, that's very cool. I don't think we found one uh, in, in that brown colour before. But I see it, quite a few things around here, actually. You can it's see so as well, because of the ridges here mm -hmm. as well, you know, uh, not to guzzle that down. <laughs> yeah. uh, it is, it's a very dangerous uh, fluid. So yeah. yeah, as I said, there's something there that Nicole would like and there's the wee... Now that is quite a modern inkwell because it has a screw top. Oh you yeah, 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 yeah. It's a cotton reel inkwell but like you say it does have a screw top and that's quite unusual actually. 
um, it looks I don't know why it's so so dark inside but it's a clear bottle so you can see it's clear it's not sea foam I'm gonna see it's full of muck yeah probably and that's why it's dark inside yeah 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 I know it's another one of these gross things <laughs> okay swoop that up <laughs> and I think what we should do uh, we're gonna to need to hurry ourselves up a wee bit if we want to see what's in all of these holes there's always lots of cool stuff sitting right on the edge of these holes and this is maybe not quite the edge you can see the holes there and we're, we're all, well maybe no miles away but we saw two interesting bottles here the one at the back there, what do you reckon that is? Uh, it's kind of hexagonally, uh, it's angled, it's got angled sides. Maybe we can stand that up beside this other very interesting bottle. I yeah. haven't seen one like that before. Right. I think that one is a Milton one and that was used to uh, disinfect um, uh, baby baby bottles. Yeah. But this one, this is really interesting. Like that, that's a really nice it. bottle, isn't it? It is, yeah. I wonder what it says. Oh, so I think it says London trademark. Um, it kind of looks a bit like an aftershave bottle. Yeah, I was going to say aftershave or perfume, mm. but I think it has, for one reason or another, and don't ask me why, it has a masculine type appearance. This <laughs> bottle, it, it kind of does. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, says, yeah. it says, uh -huh. dude. It has dude written all over it. Yeah. In fact, it has London written all over it. Yeah. But it's, it screams dude. Well, Dudeness. It's also, it's got a lid and it's half full of uh, liquid. So Satin. Yeah, yeah. I wonder what that is. <laughs> Maybe yeah. it still smells like aftershave. Now, Nicole just pointed over the top of that bottle as we were talking. And uh, she spotted this, which is very, very cool. And you maybe can see it just now, but certainly see it now. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, that's a really yeah. nice one. Oh, now, yeah. I think what we want to do is have a closer look at that and see if it has uh, any <coughs> writing on it, any information. It looks like a cutty. It has that kind of typical flat looking uh, stem. Well, I say flat looking stem. What I mean yeah. is kind of flattened, mm -hmm. a kind of oval shaped stem. Hmm. Currently, it looks like it might be plain. Right. Oh no, there's maybe some writing on it here. It's really difficult to see. Actually, it looks like there's a little face in there, but I'm not sure that is the case. But We're going to have to take that and yeah. we'll take a closer look at that later uh, and we'll see what it is. Now, just alongside that is this wee thing. It's oh. a tiny little teapot. Oh, I'm a little teapot. <laughs> Short <Sword> hand <laughs> stout. <laughs> here's my handle, here's oh. my stout. Oh. We're not going to do the dance for that, folks. But, you know, if we find a marble, Nicole might do the Snoopy dance. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, yeah. Oh, that's a shame. This is really, really uh, fractured. <laughs> Slightly compromised. This is a mild compromised <laughs> edge there yeah. that I see. That would have been very nice, but I'm really happy with the clay pipe and the uh, perfume bottle here yeah so yeah they're pretty good yeah definitely gonna take this and uh, there must be lots of tiny things around here let's have a look see what we can find well we're basically about a meter away from from the edge of all faithful and i was standing more or less on top of these now that is it's a really interesting wee bottle and i shall say for why and that's because it's a stoneware bottle but as you can probably see uh, by looking at the neck, uh, there's a thread on that neck, which means it's not a very old stoneware bottle. Maybe have a wee look at that and see if there's, maybe give that a wee burrow and we'll see if there's uh, a label on that. Doesn't look like there's a label on it, but this is definitely the first stoneware bottle with a screw top that we've ever found. Yeah, I don't know what that says about it. it's, <laughs> a, it's interest level. Hmm. Um, but yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely a, uh, Kind of unique for us yeah that's very cool i'm definitely going to take that one and i'm going to have a closer look at that egg cup over there now i was going to say that was an interesting uh, but just how it out then and we'll have a wee look it's mainly broken and i don't think there's anything much on it apart from a partial flower ah. is that what that is oh yeah now okay. we'll never get to the hole if we keep looking at stuff <laughs> like that now, that though i think is really really cool it's an almost fully intact uh, salt shaker. Yeah. Can you pop that in front of the camera a wee bit closer, please? Yeah. Thank you. Now, is it a salt shaker or is it a little vinegar bottle? Because I'm not entirely sure. Hmm. 
Um, Wouldn't need a wee hole there yeah, if it was a, a vinegar bottle. That, yeah, yeah. I think there's a hole on either side there, so that suggests it might be um, a salt shaker. It's very pretty. It kind of looks like an Asian pagoda. It does. It has a kind of sultan look about it. I don't know why. <laughs> I think it's because of this this lid. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Let's. I think we should have that. Yep. It's a it's a one of a kind one. Mm -hmm. Now, eventually, here we are. We've 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 traipsed that one metre uh, to this this spot here. And we're just going to take a very quick walk around here and see if there's anything uh, of interest. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we're, we're actually walking away from uh, <laughs> oh, to find this. Maybe you can have a wee, a wee peek at that and tell me if it has anything, anything written on it or any design. What do you think? Is it a heart? It does look a little bit like a heart. It does, it's very it? difficult to see, um, but that's very cool. Uh, I need quite a lot of these. <gasps> oh, your bees are! <laughs> Look at How that! How cool is that? Oh, see, we wouldn't have seen that. Oh man, that's a really, oh. really cool find. Oh, that's it's very a blue cool. one as well. Do you think that's yeah. from a cod bottle? Maybe a blue cod bottle? Um, it's. I think it's too small for that. Really? Maybe. I think so. That was. That would have definitely been um, a toy. Uh, so we've got a. Uh, a grown-up, grown-up <laughs> grown toy. I'm gonna see, and a children's toy. Oh, that's I very cool. I think what we have to say is, find of the day. Fine. I think that's got to be the find of the day. <laughs> yeah. We've got to have that. <laughs> Let's swoop that up. Do awesome. you know what? Marble dance. Okay. Fine. <laughs> And that's how we're going to finish the day, folks. We're not going to finish looking around here. We're just going to have to come back one day and have a look at that. But in the meantime, uh, we shall take a moment uh, to enjoy Nicole's newly found very blue and very cool marble. It's a marble. It's a marble. That's really cool. It's a lovely, lovely swirly marble. Let's have a look at our best finds of the day. Come check out our best finds of the day. Ah, okay, so here are a couple of things that uh, we found today, and these are the ones that we, we've decided to take home. Now, you haven't seen this uh, Optrix bottle, I think it's Optrix. All right. So, uh, it's, uh, I think it's an, an, an eye wash, possibly. That's what Optrix was, and uh -huh. still is. All right, okay. And I also found this this lump here. Oh, wow, uh, what's that? It's, it's, it's an elephant. It doesn't have any legs, but I think I'm going to take it anyway. That's pretty really cool. Okay, well, can, I, I'll need to get in the front there. <laughs> I'll just burrow around a wee bit so we can see the wee heffalump's face. Heffalumps and woozles. Who remembers <laughs> heffalumps and woozles? Oh, I, I no? don't know. <laughs> it's a Winnie the Pooh thing. Oh, okay, right. Now that we're in the woods, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and there's a there's a storm coming, I think. Uh, so yeah, that's the uh, that's the elephant, and we found the two uh, toothbrushes. Uh, we found two clay pipe stems, and I found this little jar and I've put the marble right in there. That's really cute that wee jar. Yeah. I'll see if I can see the marble actually just having a wee, a wee peer in down the neck of that. Yeah. Can we see the marble? Oh, uh, maybe, so, maybe. Yeah. I'm going to say maybe. Yeah. Do you know what? We're going to have to wind this up as quick as because we are due a wee bit of a rainstorm. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> it's probably best that we don't get caught out in it. So. Anything else that we've got to take a look at specifically? We've got these stoppers over there. I think, is that another huge vulcanite stopper? Yeah, yeah, that's a very large, huge uh, vulcanite stopper. It says made in England on the top. I think uh, we're going to have a bit... Nicole's getting oh, a bit it's nervous. Raining, it's raining. It started raining. Yeah. <laughs> let's leg it to the car. <laughs> Quick, swoop it up. Before we get going, don't forget we've got a monthly giveaway on coffee. If you want to take part, just pop by our coffee shop and see how to do that. Now, it only remains for me to say thank you so much for watching, liking and commenting. If you haven't subscribed yet, please take a minute to subscribe. An extra special thanks goes out to everybody who's been supporting the channel to Etsy and through your coffee donations. It makes a massive difference and it keeps the lights on. See you next week.